Ladies and gentlemen, uh, as introduced, uh, I am Makoto Kaji. Uh, I'm Associate Executive Director for International Relations of uh, JAXA, a Japan uh, Aerospace Exploration Agency. JAXA is a space agency carrying out uh, Japan's uh, national space program. Uh, first of all, I would like to uh, appreciate this opportunity uh, to introduce our activities in terms of uh, global climate change here at uh, ITU Symposium. Uh, I'm a little bit afraid uh, if my presentation is uh, so suitable for this, the subject of this session. However, uh, I believe uh, our Earth Observation Satellite Program, uh, which I uh, would introduce from now, and uh, uh, the global climate issue are very close. And although uh, many of you already know uh, the name of uh, GEOS, uh, Global Earth Observation System of Systems, but uh, uh, I'd like to begin my presentation uh, introducing this uh, GEOS. Uh, in 2003, Japanese Prime Minister Koizumi called Earth Observation Summit at Avian Summit in France. Okay. So uh, responding to the call uh, at the Avian Summit, uh, this Earth Observation Summit was established. And as a result of a discussion uh, held at uh, these three uh, Earth Observation Summits, uh, GEO's 10 years implementation plan was born in Brussels, uh, 2005. To carry out this uh, implementation plan, uh, Group on Earth Observation, GEO, was organized, and its uh, secretariat was placed in, in Geneva. So far, uh, 72 countries, including Japan and the European Commission, are participating uh, in GEO. And in addition, there are uh, 52 uh, participating organizations in GEO. GEO is, uh, GEOS is a system uh, interconnecting a diverse of growing array of instruments and uh, systems for monitoring and uh, forecasting changes in the global environment. In other words, uh, GEOS is a globally spreaded system, including satellite observation systems, global institute in in uh, networks, and local or regional institute networks. GEOS supports uh, policymakers, resource managers, science researchers, and many other experts and uh, decision makers. And uh, nine social benefit areas were defined as areas which can get benefit from a comprehensive, a coordinated, and sustained Earth observation. And GEOS users will be able to get such a service from GEO portal uh, via internet. One of the important features of uh, GEOS plan is that uh, this plan is uh, endorsed politically, as you see from its birth. But the concept of uh, GEOS was elaborated at uh, CEOS, uh, Committee on Earth Observation Satellite. CEOS was established in uh, 1984. JAXA has been uh, participating uh, in CEOS from its establishment. So far, uh, 27 space agencies and 21 user uh, organizations are participating in uh, CEOS. Regarding the birth of uh, GEOS concept, uh, CEOS was an incubator for this concept. Now, CEOS is working on building a GEOS space segment. Uh, by the way, uh, JAXA is not a member of GEO, but we are contributing to GEOS through sales activities. In March 2006, CSTP, uh, Council for Science and Technology Policy of uh, Cabinet Office, uh, has published Japan's basic strategy for Earth observation. In the strategy, CSTP pointed out that uh, Japanese Earth observation system should integrate observation platforms like satellite, SIPs, buoys, ground uh, stations, and uh, should be an uh, integral observation system from the user's point of view. 
And uh, Japan's Earth observation system should be uh, one of the tools for uh, policy making. The basic strategy uh, prioritizes uh, particularly these three uh, social benefit areas, <coughs> water, climate, and disaster. JAXA's Earth Observation Satellite Program uh, is basically uh, along the line of this uh, basic strategy. And from now, uh, I would like to introduce you uh, very briefly our space segment. Advanced Land Observation Satellite, ELOS, was launched successfully in uh, January 2006 and uh, renamed uh, Daiichi. EROS is a photon class fuge satellite carrying three observation uh, instruments panchromatic uh, optical sensor for stereo mapping, L band synthetic aperture radar, and visible and near infrared radiometer. EROS data is used for disaster monitoring, cartography, and regional observation and resource uh, surveying. Greenhouse Gases Observing Satellite, uh, we say GOSAT, aims to uh, contribute to Kyoto Treaty by monitoring the distribution of the density of CO2 and methane. The GOSAT has been uh, jointly developed by JAXA and uh, Japan's Ministry of the Environment. GOSAT enables global and frequent monitoring of <coughs> CO2 and methane. The satellite is uh, scheduled to be launched uh, early next year. Global Change Observing Mission, ZCOM, uh, will establish and uh, demonstrate the global and long-term Earth observing system. And the mission contributes to improving climate change uh, prediction in concert with climate model uh, research institutions. This mission uh, was planned as a series of uh, microwave sensor satellite called ZCOMW and a multispectral uh, sensor uh, satellite called ZCOMC. Uh, development of the first satellite, ZCOMW, has started uh, with targeting uh, its launch in 2011. Global Precipitation Measurement, uh, GPM, is a follow-on uh, and uh, expanded mission for the currently operating uh, Tropical Rainfall Me Measurement Mission, TRMM. TRMM and uh, GPM are joint programs initiated by JAXA, NICT, the National Institute of uh, Information and Communications Technology, and NASA. GPM is composed uh, of uh, one core satellite and a constellation of sub-satellites. The core satellite carries a uh, precipitation radar, which JAXA and uh, NICT develop, and a uh, microwave scanning radiometer. Sub-satellites uh, carry a microwave scanning radiometer, <coughs> and uh, they will make a satellite constellation with GPM core satellite. Uh, by using uh, this satellite constellation, it will be possible to measure global precipitation every three hours. ASCARE is a European Space Agency's mission to monitor Earth radiation, cloud, and aerosol for climate change uh, monitoring. In this program, JAXA will develop Cloud Profile Radar, CPR. CPR is a very uh, advanced observation instrument and JAXA jointly uh, develops it with NICT. CPR can sense a vertical profile of clouds and aerosol. The target launch schedule of this mission is around uh, 2013. Here I would like to uh, introduce a Sentinel Asia project. This project is a JAXA's initiative under APR SAF framework. APRSAF stands for Asia Pacific Regional Space Agency Forum. Every year, more than 70% of total victims 
killed by natural, natural disaster in the world are Asian people. From such a background, uh, Sentinel Asia concept was proposed and approved at the APR SAF 12 held in Kitakyushu City, 2005. And the joint project team, JPT, was organized to realize this uh, disaster management support system for the Asia Pacific region in 2006. Now, in a JPT, uh, regional space agencies, disaster relating organizations, and in universities are sharing the task to develop and operate Sentinel Asia system. Total uh, 59 organizations from 20 countries are participating in the JPT. The slide shows uh, the framework of a Sentinel Asia project. Sentinel Asia is to share the uh, disaster information in the Asia Pacific region by applying uh, remote sensing technologies, GIS technology, and uh, information and communication technology. The initial uh, phase, step one of Sentinel Asia, uh, was cut over uh, in October 2006. And that time, so Eros image was uh, used for the system. At the end of step one, now India provides its satellite image to this Sentinel Asia. And uh, in the near future, Korea and Thailand are expected to provide uh, this Sentinel Asia with an uh, image taken by their satellite. Step one finished uh, very successfully in the last year. The slide uh, shows the concept of step, uh, step two. Sentinel Asia is a kind of a collaboration between uh, space agencies and disaster management organizations. Information on a devastated area is sent via internet to disaster management organizations, since the internet is the most uh, convenient way. And in step two, it is planned to send uh, value-added information from satellite imagery to users using a communication satellite, such as Kizuna, uh, which JAXA launched this February, and so that even in a narrow band uh, area, can use such a data. So this slide summarizes uh, JAXA's activity regarding Earth observation. As I introduced, our program is uh, devoted to uh, three social benefit area of geos, uh, water, climate, and disaster. In addition to uh, development and uh, operation of Earth observation satellites, JAXA is holding or supporting workshops and symposiums to promote the utilization of uh, Earth observation data. And JAXA is also providing capacity building opportunities for user communities. So in conclusion, uh, I do hope that you could understand uh, that JAXA is a cross-cutting system interconnecting globally spreaded Earth observation systems and it will be a very useful tool for many kinds of users in terms of environment change. And JAXA is uh, contributing to these uh, GEOs by carrying out its Earth Observation Satellite Program. So thank you very much for your kind attention.